All right, so here we have the digital torque wrench. I do kind of like the size. It's a very thin form factor. It's kind of long. And uh, I've heard guys complain about the bulkier ones. Like they're shorter, but they're very bulky on the control here. This one's in elongated. Um, and right now I'll give you a measurement on that. So with the head on, we're looking at about pretty much 18 inches right on the dot. And then at the widest area, we are about one and a half at the most. So not bad on the size. Now here is your control basically. You push C to turn on. It turns on very quickly and you can go uh, real time. There's a little T up there or peak. So from here, We have a uh, Newton meters, inch per pound, foot per pound, and kilogram centimeter. I've never used or seen that one, but it has it. And then you can set, I believe. Yeah, you can set, uh, you can have a preset Thing on this so when you go in here and you want to do a certain uh, number you set it and then you go back out by continuing through the cycle until you get back to zero and it's set for whatever you you put it to now the only thing missing on this that I don't see is multiple settings this is more of like you set it once and you use it if you need to go in and change it, you can just quickly change it and do your next uh, fitting. So the only drawback is it doesn't have multiple uh, memory for that. You have to, it'll, it'll remember the last number you put in. So if you're doing the same numbers over and over and uh, you turn it off, when you go to turn it back on, it does keep the last number uh, in memory and you can go up and down from there if you need to. So let's see I don't know we'll set it to something real quick and then we'll try it out all right so let's see how we can try this out so I got a flare fitted dryer here and then we got a little uh, flare fitting so we put this on now you can use it for any flare fitting you need. Um, if you want to make sure you're, gonna, you're not going to have a leak, it's torqued down uh, correctly. Uh, I would see this very important on mini splits. Mini splits are a thing um, super popular right now. So if you guys are doing mini splits, you definitely need a torque wrench. Keep your uh, flares from leaking. That's one of the biggest issues with the... Uh, mini splits lots of leaks because they got flare fittings so we're going to turn this back on and i already have it set to about eight uh, foot per pound so we're just going to go with that i'm not gonna i don't have any specs on me right now we're just trying it out so basically I can show you guys let's say we're here and we're going to go so there if I have it set which I did not peak is what I want let's try that again All right, 
So if you have the peak set, it tells you exactly where you left off. So I torqued that down to about 8.4 foot per pound. And uh, of course I didn't put any nylog or anything on this, but it should be good and leak free. As long as you go by the specs, because I'm not going by specs right now. We just wanted to try it out and it worked fine, easy. What I like about this one is it's quiet basically until you reach the set point. Then it gets a loud beep and then it gives you a red light indicator. So pretty straightforward, very easy to use. It's a cool product. And the other cool thing is this head is removable. They do give you like some tools to take it out with. You gotta poke it through here, but anything will fit in there like a small screwdriver. So let's see. Pops out. Uh, you need to pop it out, put it back in the case. You have to store it separately. But, you know, still kind of cool. I'll give you a hardcover case. So yeah, that snaps off. So they're supposed to be interchangeable heads. Uh, if you need a different head on this thing and use it for something else, sockets, you know, whatnot. And then the batteries are gonna be down here. Same thing, they give you a little tool uh, to remove it. It's just a flat. just use a screwdriver so it takes it only takes two double a's so that's really neat i carry a whole bunch of batteries in my van anyway all right guys so this is going to be made by anibal that's the brand on this uh it's going to be right there so uh if you guys are interested i'm gonna leave a link for this now it took me a while to make this video they sent sent it out to me a while back uh to try it out and uh at the time of shooting this they apparently have sold out i think but i'm gonna talk to them hopefully they still have it around if you guys are interested in the product i will leave a link like i said and uh it's off amazon and I don't know, it's a cool size. It's kind of long, but I think that's good for leverage. Uh, good to get in spaces. That end right there is pretty good for that. Like I said, some guys have told me or asked me about it because I posted like a picture of it when I got it in. And uh, they were wondering about the size. So that's why I measured it for you guys. Um, I do believe this will get into most spots, but they've told me uh, that they had other brands and they were a little too bulky because like i said some of them are like maybe they go up to here but this part's real fat or the rest of it's real fat so this one uh, i don't know i think it's a good size and it's a good a good tool to have uh, if you do a lot of mini splits or any flare fittings if if we're just you know talking about pre uh, preventing leaks and stuff like that a lot of times uh they leak because they're not secured right tightened down over tightened is another issue that you have with uh, flare fittings so this gives you that uh, peace of mind just make sure you go by your specs i set it to eight because that's usually like a minimum but you can go as uh whatever the manufacturer says and if they go by i know some manufacturers go by uh Newton meters instead of foot per, uh, per pound and stuff like that. So this has all those options. Like I said, the only thing missing from this that would have made it great is the uh, ability to set, you know, two to four different settings. That way you can kind of just push a button and then torque uh, one size of line set, push another button, torque another size. But Flipping through it is, is super simple. It's just a matter of, of a couple of presses and then going up and down. It's not that hard. 
and like with you holding it down you can kind of scroll through it relatively quick so i don't see an issue there and uh this is going to be on my van so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, like i said i'll talk to the seller make sure that it's up and i will post a link and if you guys have any questions on any other tools please let me know in this series we're going over tools so this is a tool day and i will see you guys